Okay, hi everyone. I'm Amelia here today and I am a Grand Prix trainer in California. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about the trot canter transition and specifically what to do if your horse puts their head up or gets tense or kind of runs off in the canter. Um, Two weeks ago, I did a webinar on Zoom, which I will link that below to the full thing, a 90 minute webinar all about the canner. And this question came up, so I wanted to talk to you guys about it. So this is Don Carlos that I'm riding here today. And one of the most important things to consider when we're talking about this trot canner transition, first of all, is the education of your horse. So if your horse is super well educated and knows how to do a proper transition, you're going to approach this a little differently than if your horse is just learning it. So Don Carlos would fall into that well educated category. So if first I'm going to do or try to do a good trot canter transition. So the first thing, if you want to have a good trot canter transition, your preparation must be correct. So I need to have him nicely bending on the circle. I need to have him into my outside rein where I can soften that inside rein and he stays into the outside rein. I should have already my outside leg slightly behind the girth so that when I slide that outside leg back, he picks up the canner nicely. So he did keep his head down. He was a little behind my leg. So that's why I want to ride him a little forward now in the canner. Boy. So let me show you that transition again. So again, I have a nice preparation. My horse is round and forward. That time all I had to do was step in my inside heel, a little scoop with my hips, and he picked up the canner. So let me demonstrate to you. If your horse is putting their head up and running off in the transition, it's probably for one of two things. One is probably your horse isn't round enough before the transition. So if I'm trotting around like this with my horse's head above the bit, and all of a sudden I ask him to canter, you see how he stayed above the bit and he, now my canner is not very good. He's kind of running sideways. I have a lot of tension. So if your horse is putting their head up in the transition, I need to take him a little extra round, maybe a tiny bit lower than I would want for the show ring, which I know some people are going to comment about, but I need to have him a little bit extra round so that when I make that transition, he stays nice and round and in the frame. So it's all about the preparation. If you're having trouble with your canner transition, it's because your preparation isn't right. Either the horse isn't forward enough, they're not round enough, they're not enough off the inside leg. So let me show you to the right. Don Carlos, like many, many horses, loves to fall right. So he likes to counter bend and be leaning in this way to the right. So if I ask for canner like this with a counter bend, you can see what happened there. He went faster in the trot, he picked up the canner, but now he's above the bit. And the problem with when your horse is above the bit in the canner is they're not really using their back. So he's using his under neck muscle instead of his back and his abs. So let me show you that badly again. So again, if he's counter bent like this and I ask him to canter, you see he's going faster, faster, faster. And then there he actually took the wrong lead because again, he wasn't set up right. So I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna work on the preparation. What you need to do is you need to prioritize the preparation over where you're gonna do the transition. So. When you're riding a test, you might have to pick up the canner at, say, the letter A. But when you're just practicing, you need to say, okay, I'm gonna wait until the preparation is correct, and then I'm gonna ask for canner. 
that was kind of him. He felt that the preparation was correct. I think he maybe heard me say canner and he picked up the canner. So I don't want him to anticipate, but I'm not really gonna punish him for that because I just did some really bad riding on him. So um, let me show you that again. So before I ask for canner on this right lead, I kind of think of a little leg yield off my right leg. My right leg is at the girth, my left leg is behind the girth. So that all it takes is me stepping in that inside stirrup and my horse cantering on. Now I've got to think a little about the rhythm because he's a little too slow behind my legs. So there, now I have better rhythm in my canter, good boy. And then I can make that trot transition again. Good boy, good. So that's how you fix most of the problems in your trot canter transition can be fixed by getting the preparation better. Now, if your horse gets tense in the transition, so let's say like as you're preparing your horse, they start getting tense, a couple of things. So let's try and demonstrate it on him. So let's say he can tell that I'm gonna get ready to canter and he starts kind of anticipating. One thing is you can just change direction for a minute and kind of get yourself to relax again, get your horse to relax again, and then maybe go back the direction that you wanna canter. I would say if you or your horse get tense, just keep you know, go back, get the relaxation. Like I said before, it's all about the preparation. Get the preparation really right, and then pick up the canner. Oh boy. But, you know, just prioritize the relaxation over um, putting a time limit or having to pick up the canner at a certain location is super, super important. So, and you know, if your horse is anticipating the canter, mix it up, go and ride a serpentine or change things up a little. Also, if your horse is um, anticipating the canter transition, ask yourself if you're staying relaxed, because this is what I see a lot of riders do is they're gonna canter and they curl up and their hands come up and they get all tense and they stop breathing and any tension that you have in your body is going to carry over to your horse. So just make sure if, um, if you're getting tense, that's gonna transfer over to your horse. So if you want your horse to stay relaxed, you have to stay relaxed. Remember to take that deep breath in, exhale all the way out, and then ask for canner boy Don Carlos so I showed you some good and bad transitions the good transitions are like the one he just did where he stayed round he stayed in the same frame he went from a relaxed trot into a relaxed canner with energy so not lazy um, and it was a very seamless transition his position stayed the same my position stayed the same Good boy. So give me a thumbs up. I hope that helped you guys with your canter transitions. Good boy.